to continue with our ocean theme, we have the book, What's It Like to Be a Fish? In case you have ever wondered what it is like to be a fish. Uh, in the description of this video, I will be putting a link to another activity or website for you to enjoy. So without further ado, here is What's It Like to Be a Fish? Fish live in water, in lakes, ponds, there's different types of fish, aquariums, and even plastic bags. Your pet goldfish can live in a bowl. You can watch the goldfish slip over and under the castle, hide among the water plants, and glide quietly around in their underwater world. fish's body is just right for living underwater, just as your body is right for living on land. You can swim, but a fish can swim better. A fish's sleek body is the perfect shape for swimming. Fins stick out from the fish's body. They help the fish to swim. A goldfish's tail fin pushes it through the water. Six other fins steady, steer, or stop it. All their fins have a job. Most fish have skin that is covered with scales. Scales help fish swim too. The scales are hard and clear. They overlap like shingles on a roof. The smooth, slick scales let fish slide easily through the water. A clear slime covers the scales. It helps the fish glide through the water too. So if you've ever picked up a fish, if you've gone fishing and they're slimy, that would be why. Scales and slime also help to keep a fish healthy. The stiff scales protect a fish's delicate skin from cuts and scrapes. Many germs in the water get stuck in a fish's slime coating and are washed away before they can make the fish sick. Both scales and slime keep water from seeping into the fish's skin. I didn't know that slime got rid of germs on fish. That is an interesting piece of information. When fish swim, they swing their tail fins back and forth and wave their other fins. They look as though they're flying through the water. If you watch your goldfish, you'll see they open and close their mouths all day and all night. They look as if they're drinking water, but they're not, they're breathing. You breathe all day and all night too, but you can't breathe underwater the way fish do. Fish breathe with their gills. You breathe with your lungs. You breathe in, air goes, in, air goes to lungs inside your body. Your body takes the oxygen that you need from the air, then you breathe out the parts of the air that you don't need. So this is what happens to us in our lungs. We inhale oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide. Fish need oxygen too. There is oxygen in water, just as there is oxygen in air. A fish opens its mouth and lets some water in. When the fish closes its mouth, the water flows over the gills inside its body. The fish's body takes the oxygen it needs from the water. After passing over the gills, the water leaves the fish's body through the gill openings. For a goldfish, opening and closing its mouth is just like breathing in and out. So it takes in the water with oxygen in it and it comes out of the gills that we can see on the side. Fish need food just as you do, but they eat underwater. At feeding time, watch your goldfish flip their tails. They race to the top of the bowl, snap at the, their food, and gulp it down. They need only a tiny pinch of fish flakes each day. Good fish flakes are a mixture of ground up flies, fish, shrimp, crab, oats, corn, carrots, and vitamins. Fish in the wild do not have someone to feed them every day. Many fish eat tiny plants and animals so small that you need a microscope to see them. Bigger fish feed on worms, crabs, shrimp, and other fish. Usually, big fish eat medium-sized fish, and medium-sized fish eat small fish. This is part of what we call the food chain. We talked about that in our sharks book. Fish are cold-blooded. This means that their body temperature matches the temperature of the water around them. Be sure to place your goldfish bowl in a spot where the temperature will stay a steady 65 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the temperature fish need to stay healthy. 
you are warm blooded. When you are healthy, your body temperature is about 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Your body stays at this temperature by itself, whether the air around you is hot or cold. So even if you're outside in the cold or in this on a sunny day, your temperature is the same. That is not true for a fish. Sometimes goldfish swish their tails and zip around the bowl. Other times they look as if they've stopped moving, but they haven't. Their fins are always moving, even when they rest. Fish don't sleep as you do. They rest by moving very, very slowly. Fish's eyes are always open. They have no eyelids, so their eyes stay open even when they rest. Fish don't need eyelids as you do, and they don't need tears either. The water keeps their eyes washed. There is usually not enough light underwater to bother fish's eyes. Be sure not to put your goldfish in the sun because it might be too bright for them. With a sleek body, fins, scales, slime, and gills, a fish lives as naturally underwater as you do on land. Goldfish swim, breathe, eat, and rest in water. They slip over and under their castle, hide among water plants, and glide quietly around in their underwater world. And here's just a tip if you get a goldfish as a pet. Open the bag, let your goldfish swim out, so don't just dump them in there. Your goldfish, like any pet, depends on you to take care of it. It's a good idea to study a fish care guide. That way you'll know just what to do to keep your goldfish healthy and happy.